Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest this evening is an Emmy Award winning actor you know from True Blood, The Good Wife, and The Good Fight. She's now starring in the new CBS show, Elsbeth. Hi. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, I'm supposed to meet with. Oh, that's a pretty scarf. Hmm. Thank you. I'm meeting with Detective um, Smullen. I called Captain Wagner's office and they said he was here. Is Smullen expecting you? Oh, I don't think anyone's expecting me. <laughs> no, I decided to come a day early to see New York. I'm Elspeth Tassioni. I'm part of the uh, thing, the thingy thing. The thingy thing? Uh, consent decree. I'm the outside observer. The wrongful arrest lawsuit. Right. Right. This way. Okay. Uh, I think you should, um... Oh my gosh, I didn't even remember I was wearing this. <laughs> Please welcome to The Late Show, Carrie Preston. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for dressing up. I love the sparkles. Listen, this is my baby's first late night. This is, I heard yes. this is your late night debut. Thank you for coming here. How's it, how's, how's it feel so far? It feels amazing. I'm glad it's you. Oh, that's because nice. we're both, you know, Southerners. That's right. You're from Macon, Georgia. I'm from Macon, Georgia. Sure, you grew I'm from up in Charleston, Charleston South, South, Carolina. South Carolina. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, um, when you're a guest, you know, sure. you don't show up empty-handed. <laughs> no. no. You no. don't. You always bring some. Yeah, a little you always something bring like that. Something. Yeah, a a little good, something, something. Something like that, yeah. So, as you saw in that clip, my character, Elsbeth, carries these iconic tote bags wherever she goes. Yes. You don't ever know what's in them. Okay. So, I've brought you a tote, but I'm going to tell you what's in them. I should be giving you a gift. It's your first <laughs> time in late night. It's Southern Treats. Do I get to keep the tote bag? Because yes. that's kind of nice. It's yours. Southern it's Treats. Southern Treats. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. St stone ground, stone white, ground white grits, grits, or hominy as we call it That's in South correct. Carolina. Uh, we have Bull City barbecue sauce from Durham, North Carolina. I forgive you for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, cheddar cheese straws, of course. Can't yeah. go to a cocktail yeah. party without cheddar cheese straws. And a dented, oh dented can. A dented can of, of boiled, boiled peanuts. peanuts. <laughs> Does anybody, thank you, this is very kind of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Does anybody here know what boiled peanuts are? Yes? yes. A couple? Because people, if they're not from the South, people don't know what boiled peanuts they're are. They're best hot. Oh, they oh, are best hot, are, but they're also best on it. a boat. <laughs> That's with a true. can of beer. Oh, you're there going you go. for it. It's All literally right. boiled peanuts. My friends asked me, how do you, what's the recipe for boiled peanuts? I said, boil peanuts. peanuts. <laughs> And a lot of salt. Yeah, add salt add and then salt. more salt. Okay, I'm gonna have one of these while we're talking. Okay, if you don't mind. Cool. You, I'm not asking you to because you no, look too no, nice. No, 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 you do you. But they're very good. Boo. I used to make these for my friends in Chicago, and they would say, oh, great, here comes Colbert with more of his damp food. <laughs> okay, you started playing Elsbeth 14 years ago. Yes. On The Good Wife. I did. That's a long time to yes. play a character. Yes. Mm. Those are good. Yeah. Now, how has she grown? Because I played a character for nine and a half years on the on the Colbert Report. Yes. And I'm like, I got no more. I don't know what else to do with this guy after nine and a half years. How have you how have you grown and how has she grown as you played her? Well, it was great. When I first got offered the role, they described her as a female Columbo. And sure. I didn't really watch a lot of Columbo, but I knew what they were talking about, which is this you know, unconventional character who uh, uses uh, the fact that she's underestimated as her superpower. Mm -hmm. And so we we did that in the first season or so of Good Wife. And mm -hmm. then they brought me on later. And after a while, we just kind of hit our stride. And then I played the character about 20 times over the good fight and the good wife. Mm -hmm. And now I'm at the center of the show playing a character, playing the same character, but she's very much like a Columbo. So it started off that way, and now we've moved her from the legal world into the police, a police detective role. So she's like a Columbo. 
She comes to New York uh, on a consent decree. To, Which is what? Well, it's, it's basically she's the police police. So she's there to kind of make sure that these high profile crimes don't turn into lawsuits. Okay. But she walks onto uh, her first crime scene and she's like, what's that? Why is that there? Oh, I, I don't think this is a suicide. I love your tie. And then it turns out she's really good at it. And then we get to see all her, uh, her uh, how done it, not do you, who done it. Do you, you know, I, I imagine when people recognize you on the street or out someplace, do you get a sense of what they recognize you from? Do you know that they know you from like True Blood? Do they know you from, do, they know, do you know if someone knows you as Elsbeth? Yeah, I like to play this little game where I try to guess, you know? Mm -hmm. So they'll say, oh, I love you on that show. And I'll say, oh, I'm so glad that you loved True Blood, you know? Or I'll say, oh, I'm so glad you loved Good, Good Wife. Sometimes I get it right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's like swipe left. Nope, not that, nope, not that. No, nope. you end up going down your entire resume. Um, but one time I was on a, uh, airplane and there were these flight attendants and I saw them talking and I thought oh, okay here it comes and they come over and they say excuse me are you a flight attendant on Delta <laughs> <laughs> you've been a working actor for 30 years now yeah and but now this is the first time that a show is being built around you yeah. here and here's your billboard in Times Square still gives me chills did, I, you, I ever, did you ever think about that You know what, I, I'm gonna tell you, Stephen, you probably know this too, there's something very profound and very humbling that happens to you when a dream comes true. And this has happened for me, but let me tell you what I've really learned. I said to the crew when we finished shooting the pilot, I don't know if I'm gonna ever be able to play this role again, because pilots, a lot of them don't get picked up, mm -hmm. right? I said to them, this is the dream, coming together with a group of people who are talented with the common goal of making something special. And we did that. So that's the dream and you're the dream. That's what I said to the crew. And I really believe that. That's exactly, that's exactly right. Yeah. What you do with each other. Well, so lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you. You can catch a sneak preview of Elsbeth tomorrow night at 10 p.m. and every Thursday starting April 4th on CBS. Carrie Preston, everybody. We'll be right back. Thank you.